In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove duplicates from an array or a string. So let's say you have this array with A, B, A, C, B. Well, obviously there are some duplicates here. So we have the duplicates A and then we have the duplicated B. So once we remove all the duplicates, you should only have A, B, and C. There are three ways to remove duplicates. So the first way is just convert the array into a set. So let me show you the code right here. So here is our list. All you have to do is pass your list into the method set. And set will automatically remove any duplicates you have. So afterwards you will have A, B, and C. Let's take a look at the second way to remove duplicates. The first step is to initialize an empty list like this. And this will actually be a linked list. But don't worry about why it is a linked list. We'll go over that later. So the second step is to traverse the array starting at the beginning. So we're here, we're at A. Do we have A inside our list? The answer is no, because it's currently empty. So we add it into the list. And we move on to the next element. Do we have B inside our list? The answer is no. So we add B into the list, but at the end. So we add it here. And then we move on to the next element. We see that we have A inside the list already. So we don't add it into the list. We move on to the next one. We don't have C inside the list. So we add it to the end of the list like this. And then finally, we move on to our very last element. And we see that we have B inside our list already. So we don't add it into the list. And now, as you can see, we have successfully removed all the duplicates from our array and we have A, B, and C. So here is our function. We're going to take in a list L and then we initialize a linked list. So in Java, you can specify this using the linked list class, but in Python, I'm just going to represent it like this. And then we traverse through the array. So for every element inside the array, if it is not inside our linked list, then we just put it at the end of the linked list. So that's how this works. And at the end, we return the linked list. Let's talk about the third and final way to remove duplicates from an array. So the first step is to sort the array from least to greatest. And by that, I mean A comes first and then B comes second and so on. So I already showed you how to sort an array from least to greatest using various methods like insertion sort. I'll link it down in the description below if you want to review it. The next step is actually just add the first element into our list like this. So we add it into the list and now we start at the second element. We look at the element to its left. Is it the same letter? Yes, it is. So we don't do anything here. We just move on to the next element. And then we look at the left. Is it the same letter? No, it is not. So we add B into the list and then we move on to the next element. We look at the left. Is it the same letter? Yes, it is. So we don't do anything here. We just move on to the next one. And we look at the left again. Is it the same letter? No, it is not. So we add C into the list. The code is very straightforward. You take in the list input and check the size. If there are zero elements or there's only one, then just return the list because there's nothing to do here. But if the size is at least two, then the first step is to create a copy of the list. So we create a copy to keep the original version intact. And the copy will be stored in a new variable called L. And this step is O of N. And then we are going to sort all the numbers inside the list from least to greatest. And then we take the very first number inside the list and put it into our unique element list. So that's the syntax for it. And for the sort, it's n log n because we can assume merge sort for this step. Finally, the last step is to traverse the list from the second element or from index one until the end of the list and check if the number that we're currently at is not the same as the number to the left, then we add that number into unique elements. And that's basically it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and share and comment down below what is your favorite method out of these three.